Okay, let's see. In this tutorial, I have, let's see, I have two of these armatures set up and two objects. They're just copies of each other, but they're individual objects. That's armature 0 and that's armature.001. Like that. That's just the regular armature here. And here's my IK constraint that I have set up here. So I'll just press G and I'm just controlling it from this point back, all right, like this. And now the nice thing about these IK constraints is that you don't have to just use it to control the one armature. You might want to use it to control multiple armatures. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And it's as straightforward as it can be. And as soon as you see it, you're going to go, oh, OK, that's simple. And it is simple. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to grab this armature instead. Press Tab to go into Edit Mode. And then maybe I'll click, I'll use this bone up here. Or maybe I'll use the very end bone like that. And then I'm going to Control Tab into Pose Mode like that. And then with that, selected I'm gonna go get an IK constraint here and then my target instead of being its own armature that's 001 armature.001 I'm just gonna target this armature here so I'm gonna make it armature 0 and I'm gonna target this same bone up here that's gonna be the same controlling bone that I'm using over here so this one's only controlling it from here back so that's bone.010 and so and you'll see what happens and suddenly the end of that is instantly attached to this and you can see it's already con controlling the bend in there like that because it's part of it so when I go click this on this even though this is a part of this armature these that's where it came from because it's armature dot bone dot zero one zero and when I move this with G I'm moving both armatures I'm moving the one from that point back and the other one all the way from the tip back notice this thing can since I'm controlling it it can just go wherever it wants huh so that gives you a lot of power to start, you know, controlling other aspects of your armature. And yeah. Uh -huh. And then of course you could just change, you know, in this case you could chain change the chain length. That was con up to that's controlling back to there. So we know zero controls to the end. And this kind of there's one controls to the next bone, you'll see it there. There's seven controls back to there. So now when I'm controlling this one here, gee, you can see it's only controlling back to that one bone like that. All right? Very flexible, very powerful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.